Hello my little acorn crop. So I said I wanted to add more news on my channel here and you know what? Arizona did not disappoint. So here we go. We've got some uh, some some news. Yeah, let's see. So uh, the title of this article is Phoenix Restaurant says this is a photo of coal miners but I see offensive blackface. So this is another reaction to a uh, opinion piece. I feel like I should call this day late dollar short news because I don't know how long this story has been floating around. It looks like it came out January 28th. So here it is the 31st and I'm just getting around to it. So anyway, um, so in looking at this article, let me scroll down so you can see the picture in question. Um, and to me, my knee-jerk reaction was it was written by somebody who had privilege enough to never have had to work in harsh, dirty, and dangerous conditions. Um, because mining is harsh, dirty, and dangerous. Uh, there are even even today. There's lots of dangers in mining. I mean, they they still use dynamite or explosives to get a deeper ore, or in this case, it's coal. It you know it's still quite dangerous. And and all of these men in this picture that you're looking at, these men all probably died of black lung. And I tried to find an exact date and location for this picture and I believe it's Welsh and I believe it's from around 1913 so these are Welsh farmers from 1913 and black lung was definitely a big thing there and everything had to be done manually so these guys had to go into a mine with picks and shovels and dig that way dig out the the, the coal so these guys were probably pretty dang tired and it wasn't in their purview through the course of their day to be making fun of black people by having dirty faces. Um, and just a note on black lung, it was virtually eradicated in 1999. However, in or uh, it's been increasing in recent years. Um, you know, and these gentlemen's life expectancy was probably around 47 years. They were probably only going to live to 47 years old. This guy looks kind of old. He might be already about to die. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to kick off any minute. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this, the art author of this article makes the point that he asked a lady and a Latinx, which I've never met a Latino that liked to be called a Latinx person, but hey, I don't know. Maybe I'm not meeting the right kind of Latinos ask a, a Latinx and ask a Latinx. That sounds racist to me. You don't even say a Latinx person. It's just a Latinx uh, and a white woman for their opinion. And they said, hey, it looks like coal miners at a pub after work. And then they stepped back and frowned and said, it's men in blackface. No. In 1913, it's just a picture of men with dirty faces who put in a hard day's work and you know I can't imagine that this photograph probably was orchestrated by the photographer so that he could you know get a nice picture maybe they were celebrating something you know maybe maybe the one dude got a promotion or something you know um, th this is not people being racist so I think through the course of this article reading it that the author um, and let's let's look at our author here. Uh, well, one thing to note: Judge Staff Advocate Paralegal for the United States Air Force. So I would say he was privileged enough, never having to work into a coal mine. But here is our author, Rash Rashad Thomas. I, I might be saying that wrong. Um, so he makes. I think his argument in the article is because a white owner of bar restaurant or wherever this picture was hanging hung the picture up as a dog whistle <laughs> would they be dog whistling i don't know um but basically as a you're not welcome mat to black people or brown people i don't think so i really don't i can guess that this is probably in a 
certain kind of establishment. Um, and I don't really want to call it out, but you know, and when I say that, a certain ethnicity, an establishment dedicated to a certain ethnicity or uh, country, and it was part of their history. That, that was probably on the wall with a bunch of other pictures. You know, like when you go to Buca de Beppo and it's got like a butt ton of pictures. I'm not saying this is from from Buca. I'm just saying, making that comparison. Buca de Beppo has a butt ton of all kinds of pictures, which, you know, you can get lost looking at those. So this establishment that whoever, wherever it was from, probably had a bunch of pictures. Um... And when we go back, I don't know if I'll find the exact quote in here. I think it's right in this area in art. Everyone sees something different. And that's the beauty of art. So we are comparing this photograph to art. You know, so why is this gentleman's, you know, misguided interpretation of this photograph now my, my interpretation? It doesn't work like that. Um, but he also makes a comment, uh, viewers cannot determine the intention of an artist's work. Um, art also exposes a society's blind spots, and blackface is only a glimpse of a larger issue. The larger issue is the lack of representation of marginalized people and their voices in Phoenix. This is a picture from 1913 Wales. Has zero bearing on <laughs> on 2019 Phoenix. It's 100 years separated. It's, it, no, it's just history. And that's the problem is people don't know history anymore. It was Holocaust Remembrance Day here just a little while ago. And they did a poll which indicated that like, I don't know, 30%, maybe more people didn't even know about the Holocaust or what it was anything like that. So what the, the biggest problem nowadays is people are not being taught history. And so when they see a picture like this, which is just history, they think it's some kind of commentary on 2019 Phoenix in this instance. And then this guy goes on to say, frequently I enter art galleries and I am not represented in the art. Well, guess what? I'm not re represented in all the art either. Art is art. I mean, should I be upset because Salvador Dali didn't paint white people? Uh, you know, his his thing was clocks running off of things. What about um, H.R. Geiger or Giger? I, should I be upset that I don't think I'm really represented in that art? I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not upset. He, his thing, you know, was aliens and biomechanical stuff. Um, let's see. So anyway, uh, um, and then he says, which leads to an uneducated curation from exhibitions. I don't think you need to be represented in every single art exhibi uh, ex exhibition or painting on the face of the planet. Let's see. And then he goes on to say, in the same paragraph, no less, while shopping, I'm ignored because it's assumed I am unable to purchase anything or I, or I am followed by a security guard because it is assumed that I am a threat to the store. I gotta tell you, dude, that's not uncommon. Try being a teenager in the mall. You get followed around. It doesn't matter what color you are. Oh, that's kind of an old 1980s, 90s thing. But if you're a kid and you go into a store, a lot of times you'll get followed around because they think you might shoplift something. I mean, and that's not by choice. Whereas like when I go into a store with black makeup on and the big mohawk and everything, yeah, people look at me. I've been followed around by security guards or, you know, because people think I'm going to steal something or because I look different, they think I'm automatically on drugs. I mean, it's, you're not alone, bud. I mean, I don't know why we can't look at someone else and be like, they're a human being too. I don't get it. I don't understand why you have to look at somebody else and be like, oh, they're oppressed more than I am. So they have more wisdom in the of the world than I do. But we each, we each have our own experiences. We're all individuals. And I think I can relate to another human being 
even if their skin color is different. You, you can't expect the world to change for you. And that's, I think, the biggest thing, biggest takeaway is the world doesn't change for you. Are there racist people out there? Yes. Is every single person you meet racist? No. And I think you just have to, to you know, context matters. Again, context matters. You know, and that's the context of this picture hanging on a wall in a particular establishment in downtown Phoenix. There's a context behind this picture, and it doesn't have anything to do with racism. All right, that was quite a lot of talking. So with that, good night, America, wherever you are, wherever you have gone. Good night.